What is up, YouTube? I'm Devon Da Vinci, leader of the Renaissance Crew, and you're watching Da Vinci Reacts. Um, today I'm gonna be getting into another George Carlin reaction. Uh, it's a comedian I haven't reacted to in a minute. Um, I'm sorry for that. This is one of his more legendary segments. I've heard about this segment. I've never actually seen it, but I've heard a lot of people talking about it. I can't even tell you what the seven dirty words are. <laughs> um, I can take some guesses uh, just based on how the FCC likes to do stuff. So I'm a guess and I need probably my I might have to start putting warnings before my videos because just a quick side note. I know YouTube is going through this whole adpocalypse thing a second time and there's a big problem with uh, kids watching certain videos or whatever and and YouTubers getting blamed for it. And even though I don't personally believe that it is our responsibility to like if if somebody screws up, like somebody else messes up, it's not every YouTuber's responsibility. Like we shouldn't be held accountable for the st stuff that small, like a small fraction of the community creates and does. Um, I do think that we can do something to help prevent it in the future. And one thing I'll probably end up start uh, doing, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it for this video, but my next batch of videos that I do, I'll pro I'm gonna probably start putting some type of warning before my videos, like if there's cursing or if there's sexual themes or anything like that kind of just like a quick uh viewer discretion is advised type thing or you know just have some type of warnings you know the way that some movies have it where they'll have like a, a age recommendation and then like descriptions of what's in the video maybe that'll help out but um anyway this is george carlin seven dirty words let's go ahead and get into it um i expect to hear a couple familiar ones but <laughs> Who knows? So the words, as I say, shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, tits, fart, turd, and twat. Now, right, just real quick, turd, I don't think is a, that bad. Tits, I don't think is that bad. Uh, twat is a unique one. <laughs> I think the c word would replace that now for my European. Well, I'm, I'm gonna say it because my Europe, I have a lot of European support. Uh, subscribers cunt cunt will replace twat now that's the word that most people don't let slide on tv i guess unless you're from europe <laughs> but in america that stuff don't slide motherfucker came off the list immediately the first day in fact i had a call from an english language purist some guy had to he had to talk you know he got on the phone he tells me i have a duplicate on my list i have a duplication he says motherfucker is a duplication of the word fuck technically because fuck is the root form motherfucker being derivative <laughs> therefore it constitutes duplication <laughs> i said hey motherfucker how did you get my phone number anyway I, 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 I guess what he said is kind of true i'm not a big english person I said, but Look, man it may be derivative but you still can't say it you still can't say motherfucker on TV, can you? He said, no, but you can't say fucky, fucking, fuckola, fuckaroony, or fuckerino either. <laughs> well, I said, yeah, that would crowd up my list some often. <laughs> the so 78 words you cannot say on TV. <laughs> struck it from the list. Motherfucker was gone. <laughs> now the list was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tits. Does it sound like something's missing? It's amazing how he doesn't Does get tongue like twisted. Sound like an old friend is gone. <laughs> Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker tits. Remember the old rhythm? Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker tits. Cocksucker, motherfucker tits. Cocksucker, motherfucker tits. Cocksucker, motherfucker tits. <laughs> now, shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker tits. It falls apart. It isn't going anywhere. And by now, cocksucker <laughs> is the dominant word on the list. Previously, with motherfucker on the list, cocksucker was somewhat balanced out. <laughs> they were the only multisyllabic words on the list. But now, cocksucker stands alone. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, tip. <laughs> and who knows? Maybe it doesn't belong either. After all, motherfucker turned out to be a ringer. Let's take a look at cocksucker. <laughs> See if this one belongs. We'll divide the word cock and sucker from each other, those words. Sucker isn't dirty. Sucker. That's, it's suggestive as hell. <laughs> but it isn't dirty. And cock, that's not dirty all the time. That's one of those words that's only partly filthy. Cock, if you're talking about the animal, it's perfectly all right. They used to read that to us from the Bible in third grade. 
And we would laugh. <laughs> cock is in the Bible. <laughs> Remember the first time you heard about a cock fight? What? No. <laughs> <laughs> I got visuals in my head. It's not. It's not good. <laughs> and even the word cocksucker itself has been twisted out of all of its original meaning. It's been distorted. Mm -hmm. For some mm -hmm. reason now, cocksucker means bad man. It's a good woman. How did they do that? <laughs> well, tits is on the end of the list. Shit this fucking cocksucker motherfucker. Tits. And you know it doesn't belong on that list. I mean, it really doesn't belong in with that kind of heavyweight filth. Yeah, it's, Tits it's, isn't dirty. it's a Tits throwaway. Is cute name. Cute thing, cute idea. Great fun. Good name. <laughs> tits, hey, Tits sounds like a friend. It sounds like a nickname, doesn't it? Hey, Tits, come here, man. <laughs> hey, Tits, I want you to meet Toots. Tits, this is Toots. Toots, Tits. <laughs> tits. Cute word. Nice word. I love a word that spells the same forwards and backwards like Tim. <laughs> Don't you think it's so cute when a word is spelled the same forwards and backwards? I always wished my name was Otto. Just so I could walk backwards and yell my name, you know? Otto! 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 <laughs> well, I had strange dreams. But the word tit is on the list because you can't say it on television. You can't say tit. Imagine that. Can't say tits. You can say boobs. Boobs spell the same forwards and backwards too. <laughs> boobs is all right. You can't say tits, but you can say boobs. In fact, boobs is an answer now in match game. I had boobs, Gene. <laughs> boobs, two hundred dollars. <laughs> tits, two hundred dollar fine. <laughs> you can't say tits. You can say teats. Teats is all right, providing you're on at five in the morning and a cow is. Yeah, your but it sounds like some stuff for cows. But you can't say jugs and you can't say knockers, you know. Oh, you I tried can now. Pull on the cow's knockers. <laughs> right, grab a knocker in each hand, that a boy. <laughs> now alternate knockers, good deal. Can't say that. Tits, tits sounds like a snack, you know. Well, I know what you're thinking, but tits sounds almost, <laughs> it sounds Nabisco to me. It sounds like Nabisco has, has reserved that name. Cookies and sounds milk. like a thing at a party. Pass the tits, would you be? <laughs> Say, those things are responding. <laughs> well, shit is fucking toxic motherfucker tits. Fart, turd, and twat. Fart? Fart is like tit. It's one of those nut words that isn't that harmful. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's not. Cute it doesn't belong. Thing. Well, farts can be a little harmful. <laughs> <laughs> Depends on who's cooking. But fart. <laughs> fart. Fart is a cute. Hey, kids know farts are okay. Kids know farts are fun. <laughs> farts are shit without the mess. <laughs> yeah. Same funny sound, same vile smell, no fuss, no mush. <laughs> Fart is an interesting word in this respect. Talking about television, fart is extremely interesting because dig this. You can't say fart on television. We know that. You can't say fart. And you can't say fuck either on television. However, you can refer to fucking. <laughs> you can talk about fucking. <laughs> they do that all the time. Some of the times the show you're watching, two people are probably fucking in the other room. <laughs> fucking is all right. Fucking is part or of the plot. At least it's implied. A lot of plots are based on fucking. Will they fuck? Should they fuck? Have they fucked? Did they fuck? Will they fuck again? Will they get sick from fucking? Are they fucking too much? Will they fuck each other's friends? Will they have a baby from fucking? Will they be sorry they fucked? Will they be glad they fucked? This is before All AIDS and herpes. Stories. They Every were fucking. Every honeymoon joke is a fuck joke. Have you ever noticed it? <laughs> Otherwise, the people wouldn't be on their honeymoon in the joke. They'd be knights or they'd be sailors or something. They're on their honeymoon. They've got to be a fuck joke. Every little, every news, I'm sorry, every quiz master has stood there with his newlywed couple and said, and I understand you folks are on your honeymoon. <laughs> Lots of fucking going on here. <laughs> Lots of fucking over here. So they talk about fucking all they want. They just don't call it that. They don't call it what it is. They call it other things. They call it making love, which is fine. They call it going to bed with someone. 
having an affair, sleeping together. Mm. But they don't call it fucking. On the other hand, fart. Not only is fart a word you can't use on television, but they never even refer to them. <laughs> That's how bad farts are compared to fucking. They don't even refer to farts. There are no farts on television. <laughs> You've never seen a reference to a fart? I've never seen a fart reference. No, wouldn't you think that by now one guy would have gone, hmm, <laughs> hmm. Do you think by now that one guy on the Johnny Carson panel just once would have said, Hey, Ed, move down, man. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that was a Clydesdale fart, Ed. <laughs> Sounded like Ed was interviewing lighter, you, Tommy Chong. Wow. <laughs> or Johnny night, Carson, like, I guess. You ought to see the nurse, you know? God, it's not the smell so much. It's the burning of my eyes! <laughs> <laughs> well, my, we might live to see that, you never know. Remember when you were a kid? Maybe you were a little boy child like me, out on short pants, maybe sitting in church. Sitting on a wooden bench in church in the middle of the summer with short pants. No, <laughs> that, that was just the pastor's you lap. Fought, you know? And it's up to you. You got to work out a little maneuver. That's not the, called not the kind one of one cheek sneak. I was not the kind of words you were thinking of. <laughs> right in tune with the organ. <laughs> That's why they call them pews, you know. <laughs> pews. 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 Did you ever notice that your own farts smell okay? <laughs> Say, that's fairly decent. <laughs> I think I'll stay home today. So you can sit there and judge and grade them. This one wasn't as bad as the other day. Do some reading <laughs> in the closet. Now, I mentioned the three extra words, fart, turd, and twat. Turd is another word you can't say on television, turd. But, you know, when you get right down to it, who wants to say it? <laughs> I don't even care if I ever hear that one again. Twat, twat is on the list for the same reason. It doesn't mean anything else. You know, it only has that one meaning. Twat's twat, and that's that. <laughs> it's not like prick. Prick is one of those part-time dirty words. Prick is all right. You can say prick on television. You can say, I pricked my finger. Just don't say you fingered your prick. <laughs> <laughs> That was actually good. That was funny. <laughs> oh, man. You know what's interesting? I wonder, because back then when this, uh, when that segment took place, I'm guessing it was like the early to mid 70s based on the look of it. There wasn't a lot of like crazy things on TV. Like nowadays we have like Family Guy and um, like Mad TV would push the envelope every once in a while. Tosh.0, things like that, like things that really go out of their way to like push the envelope, the Eric Andre show. But back then there was nothing like that. I'm wondering if George Carlin and this segment specifically like kind of challenged people on TV to push the envelope because somebody was sitting back watching this like, hmm, he's kind of right. You don't really see that stuff on TV, but we should now <laughs> like. It seems to me like that would be something that they would, uh, that studio executives would do, just like test it out and try it, I guess. I think he actually got arrested after this special because um, recently I had done jury duty and over at the courthouse that I was going to, they had on the wall like um, a mugshot and a description of like all these big celebrity cases and they had people like Janis Joplin and um, Pee Wee Herman, O.J. Simpson, uh, and George Carlin was one of them. And I think in the description it said that he was arrested over, I forgot exactly what it was, but it, it tied into this segment. I believe that they arrested him because um, 
you know, what he said on stage or whatever. I, I could be wrong, but I know that they arrested him. But I just don't know if specifically if it was this, like, exactly or what. I'd probably have to look more into it and figure it out. But, um, yeah, there was a deeper story around it. Um, yeah, I will have to go and check out some more of the George Carlin's older videos. I, I've only watched his uh, more recent videos, the ones that were done in, like, the 2000s. But yeah, it, very funny. That that was very funny. And uh, if this video, let me check my time real quick. If this video does end up getting blocked, um, just a heads up, it will be a Da Vinci Watch video. Uh, chances are, if you're at this point in the video, you already know that. <laughs> but just know if you're watching this part, I don't know if it's been blocked yet. Unless you see the beginning uh, with me in the blue shirt explaining the rules of Da Vinci Watch videos, then at that point, I know it. You should know it got blocked. But as of right now, I don't know. But uh, anyway, that's been this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move on. I think that's all I'm going to do for now. I do have a review for uh, Captain Marvel. And just a quick heads up, just a quick summary. If you want to know my thoughts on it, just know don't listen to the reviews. Go and watch it and come up with your own conclusions because... Well, I'll I'll let, I'll I'll let leave my review for it, but, um, but I did recently go watch it, and you know I'll have a review. I'm not sure if it'll be out the same time as this video, but it'll be around this time. So either if this comes out around six o'clock, it'll be later on in the day or something. But uh, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to let you guys know. And I am Devon Da Vinci. You've just been enlightened. And I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. If you like this one, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. But until I do see you on that next video, I'm going to give you the deuces, and I hope to see you there. Deuces.